All right, well, I'm halfway through doing this, but I just never have the time to make videos. I'm gonna try to get more time to do this for you guys. Changing out a high pressure control, because it failed. It won't reset. I tested between those two. That's where the wires were, and I had 110 volts. So then I bypassed it, and then compressor five came on. So got the new one uh, right here. Yep. So I'm in the middle of switching it out. So now I'm just isolating off the compressor. I've already shut this this one down. Probably also need to get this. Closed off. All right. Now, We'll see. See if I can bleed out what's in the compressor. I think that's going to work. Yeah. All right, good. Now. Watch out for that discharge line. It's hot like a bitch. Okay. The two side by side. And uh, I don't know what happened here if it didn't have one arrow. Only difference is this one has two uh, sets of contacts and this one only has one. I only need one though. And then I'm going to set my, my needles here to be at 350. Yeah, pretty close. 350 and then maybe No, not 250. I want it closer to like 50. I mean, like 300. But I want this to shut down a little bit before 350. Yeah, maybe like right there. I guess we'll see. See, it's like that. So then, once you mount it, then you, uh, well, I'm gonna connect that one first that way this won't be in my way when I'm tightening it probably should back that up but uh, not right now we'll see if it leaks in a little bit if it does I'll back it up Next, I'm gonna put my wires in. On your wires, Ooh, that hot. Through the hole, okay, through the hole, and before you tie anything, put your backing nut on it. If you forget to do this, you will take it apart and fix it, I promise. There's been many times that I have screwed this up and connected my wires to then realize I gotta take them back apart. So, don't be like me. 
Be smart. Or no, not be smart. Learn from what you do. Learn from what I'm doing. That way you don't have to do it yourself. All right, I think that that is good enough. Okay. Next, my ground. Like so. And then I've gotten power to these off, but I still had 18 volts on one of them. Remember over here. I got that one off. I got my fuse pulled out of number five. And I even got my little damn relays pulled too. And I pulled this wire, which is the one that's going to it. And I still got 18 volts. So because of that 18 volts, be on the safe side I taped up my wires and I'll untape them one at a time and make sure that nothing touches anything else so it doesn't arc and short anything because that would ruin my night and then I'm done right, after I leak check just like that you see then close this off and I'll start with opening this one All right, let's see if I can make that thing trip. I don't think it's hot enough out here right now, but we'll see. All right, got everything back together. Fuse in. I don't know if it's calling, maybe not.
Hmm. All right, well, I got it to start, you guys. Uh, I got to make some adjustments to it, but my phone's dead. Just thought I'd record that real quick. Changing the high pressure control. See ya.